Good morning everyone, this is day 43 of our world travel and today we're going to show you guys Stanford. So actually it's now the second time being in the US, feeling like being in the US and not feeling like being in Mexico or in the Soviet Union. Here it really looks like in all of the movies we had seen from the US since our childhood and this is really positive because during our travel now we saw a lot of negative sites in the US and areas and now it's also nice to see something more Europe alike. Even some of the houses kind of look like it would be in Europe but for the palms that's more like Spain, parts of Italy, it's also Europe. What I really like about the US are the sliding windows in the house because you can just squeeze yourself an AC in between and you do not need any permissions to install an AC or similar. Just open the window, put the AC in between and be happy. In Europe, you would request the permission from the owner's association in order to install AC at your own property. And that's really hard. And the owner's gatherings or summits are a nightmare. Okay, this is how a proper university housing area should look like and not like at the university I was studying at. Okay, we just got gifted a student welcome pack and let's sit on the table and look what we got. Okay, let's see what I got in my gift bag. Pack of Cheetos. Oh, another flavor. A picture of the Stanford Tower, which we just walked by. I think that's Gummibärchen, but I'm not certain because it's written fruit snacks, natural fruit. So maybe that's fruit. I don't know. I never saw that before. A chapstick. Nice. Yes. A pen. What do we get here? A sticker. A business card. Two sun creams. Sunglasses. Wow. I didn't expect that. That's a really pleasant surprise. Whew. We are really interested to see how American students are going to get feet in comparison how it was in Stuttgart where both me and my wife in the past studied. Okay, let's see if the place is open, but I highly doubt it. Just for the fact that no one is around us. Let's check. Yes, unfortunately the dining hall is closed. Well, we're now in the new Jinian Park at the Stanford University campus. And the scarvings look really interesting. But now I have to say a typical German phrase. I would not like to have them in my garden. Maybe this one because that's really artwork. It looks really interesting to me. We just got ourselves something to eat from an Asian place here on campus. And I paid for that roughly 11 bucks including tax. And for that we paid roughly like nine bucks. The territory of the Stanford University is simply huge uh, compared to the university I was studying at. Um, my university would look like a little village compared to the territory of the Stanford University. Okay, being inside a university building now, I can say it still look alike 
an ordinary university from the inside. Here you can see a student research lab. And if I look inside, it reminds me of my old university in Germany. Okay, we're going to visit now some American fraternities. We only know them out of American movies, where else? Because there are some fraternities in Europe, or better said in Germany too, but nothing like in all of the US movies. And now let's see, and well, and now let's go and see for real how they look like. I think we're getting close. So here we have Delta, Delta, Delta. But their house does not really look like in the typical US movies about colleges or universities. The whole thing in the movies is definitely a fiction because we walked around all of the houses here and they're pretty boring. Have a look on this poor abandoned Mercedes E-Class. As you can see it had its best days behind it and is currently used as storage department. And that's actually really a pity because that car counts as one of the undestructible Mercedes ever. Once built in my hometown and now it's rotting on a parking spot next to a street at the Stanford University. I don't know for how long the car sat here, but I think for quite some years as the registration tags are back from 2018 and the car is actually sitting on bricks in order that the suspension wouldn't go down. And this car is not the only one getting abused as a storage department. There are at least 10 others in the street I didn't record so far. This is actually the way how Google is routing us to the house of our couch surfing hosts. Really interesting. Welcome to take 11 of my try to record that sequence for you. We're now back at our Couchsurfers house um, where we're staying, or better said where we stayed last night and where we're going to stay this night. It's really an interesting place, so we're actually living on the um, Stanford University campus and nearby we're having a Tesla's former headquarter and their first manufacturer in Fremont as well as the Apple campus which is close by and we have to figure out if we're going to visit this place still today or tomorrow because we still have to go to a supermarket to grab some groceries. We were eating today at the university that was also tasty. Um, we actually wanted to go there to a cafeteria but they were still closed because all of the students were just arriving today because apparently the university is either starting this or next week and today they had the whole welcome ceremonies we got the gift bags and everything so it was pretty cool and interesting okay guys i'm going to end my today's vlog a little bit outside the house because i'm sure that the children will already sleep and for that reason, I wish every one of you a good morning, a good night or a good afternoon, wherever you are and in which time zone you're watching my videos and see you guys tomorrow.